So a new bilge treasure was found. It was hanging on those lines there. And we have, try to get it focused here. It is a Greek crossword puzzle. Well, remnants of it. This lens dirty, so I don't know. So I'm going to try to get this out of here in one piece and get this over to John so he can add it to the collections. Um, at the very least it's an interesting find. It's been sitting here for at least 30 years or is it 30, I don't know, 35 years maybe. Alright, we are in the bilge in B3 and we are below the 16 cylinder oil filter. And now, you don't have to be a mechanic to be able to answer this, but what should be inside of an oil filter? Oil. And that is not oil. So we're going to let all the water out of our oil filter, and then we'll be back. Here's, this is what's wanting to come out of here. Let's try to get the same to properly. Crack this open. I'll show you how this is coming out. So we got, there's the water. And then here's our, here's our slurry. Uh, so it's safe to say that it's, that's not just oil and it's not just water something in between. We're going to run that until it turns blue boil black. Starting to change color. Now, the whole reason to do this is so that someday. When the bottom of this gives out, it's not just going to let a whole bunch of water out into the bilge because we have enough of that happening. Now you can see the fluid's darker, but it still looks like mayo. This will be a little while. And this is what our oily slurry looks like now coming out of the filter. Um, I'm going to run this by the other guys, see if this is good enough. Um, I wouldn't be terribly angry if I saw this fill up the bilge because it's mostly oil, but it is. Uh, it looks kind of like mayonnaise, so um, it's mostly oil, but it does have water in there. And when it's a bit quieter in here, I'll explain why there is water in here in the first place. So we are inside the oil sump on the inboard V16 engine in B3. And this is what it looks like, in case you've never been inside one of these. Now, that circle down there near that uh, missing cover, that is where the gauge goes. So you could open that up, and then the pressure from the oil would push that float up and tell you how much, how much fluid is in here. Now, when you look down in here, you have pickups, and that's one of them there. And you got these pickups here. Now, these walls in here, these are called baffles. What they do is they still allow 
fluid to pass through. But if they're in the seas and it's rocking back and forth, you're not going to get that water hammer effect. And water hammer is just when fluid is moving and then it suddenly stops. You may even have this in your house when you turn on the faucet uh, and then turn it off very quickly. You hear the pipes rattle. So here's the welds. And these welds are these are wartime welds. Now, if you look here, it's where one of the main pickups came. And this right above us is the oil pan. Now the engine runs primarily off the oil pan, but the sump feeds it no matter what. So no matter how badly the ship is rocking and rolling, you're always gonna have an oil pickup that is below the fluid level. Now this is new, okay, and this was one of the attempts to get this engine into running condition. It's a little bit of oil dripping off. Now, there's one more that is not covered. That's because no one could get in there. Um, and it's good that no one wa wasted the time. Um, when I'm back up on the deck, I'll show you inside the crankcase and explain a little bit more about um, what had gone on with this engine and, and why it's um, never going to run again at least not in the foreseeable future. Thomas, is this the only compartment where there's wood? Well, except for the Bosun blocker. I think primarily. And there's more wood in the next room. <laughs> Oh, I see some fuzzy rags. That looks like some scribbles. It's the world's longest lasting sticky note right here. Some people want to know what's back here. So this beam right here has a grip, and this side of this beam has a grip. Look at that. Fifty nine. Post on Facebook and say, Did you write this? If so, comment me. Bunch on this. 